Hello friends, in this video I am going to show you how to send and receive MQTT packets over your SIM 900 or SIM 800 GSM modules. In my previous tutorial I had shown you how we can create MQTT packets and send them over TCP connection and also we saw how we can connect to a cloud MQTT broker called like cloudmqtt.com and how you can authenticate yourself as a uh, subscriber or a publisher. So using the same examples we studied in the last video, we are going to create a subscriber on my laptop. Uh, if you have not watched it, I highly recommend that you watch it first because without that you will not be able to understand this video. I will share the link in the description or on top of the video here. Uh, using the same examples as shown in the previous tutorial, we will try to create a, a subscriber on my laptop. So this subscriber will subscribe to a topic called as Valetron. Uh, on the broker cloudmqtt.com so this will be our subscriber for the topic valetron now it is subscribed to the topic valetron to cloudmqtt.com broker now this window will act as our publisher so i will test a simple publish message to check whether the subscribe and publish is working using the cloud mqtt broker okay okay the subscribe and publish are working correctly now now what we will do is now instead of sending the data using command prompt we will try to send data using sim 900 or sim 800 gsm module this tutorial is applicable to sim 900 or sim 800 or any of the modules in the series of sim 900 or sim 800 because the at commands will remain the same now let us open the terminal software now we can use any terminal software of your choice to test the at commands now i am using tmft let's test the basic at commands now as i had shown you how we can send binary mqtt packets over a tcp connection we will use the same technique here to send the data from sim 900 or sim 800 gsm module to cloud mqtt broker now first let us establish a TCP connection to the server using the command at plus cstt is equal to this command will set the uh, APN username is blank and password is blank and then we will enable the connection ok now uh, we will check whether we have been allocated an IP address we have been allocated now after this we need to uh, connect to the cloud mqtt broker using this command et plus cip start tcp server name and the port number once we receive connect ok we need to send the connect packet here i have separated them using spaces because this software takes spaces in between et plus cip send packetize paste it and then you also need to send the publish packet also so that it will create a connect and publish at a time last you should enter 1a send it now as you can see the data might be sent Now as you can see here, the data has arrived on the subscriber. Okay, so uh, here you can see as I had, uh, told, uh, as I didn't show you exactly what were the acknowledgement packets here, you can see as I sent the connect and the publish packet at a time, uh, it sent me the connect acknowledgement packet. Now I will try to subscribe to the topic Valetron. using the command now once you set the send the connect command you don't need to send it again so first what we will do is we will send the subscribe packet Now this will make the sim 900 module subscribe to the topic called as valetron 
okay send okay and this is the uh, subscribe acknowledgement packet now let us try to publish a message from here to our sim 900 module so this is the command for publish this will publish the message led 0 to topic valetron As you can see, the SIM 900 module received the message Valetron, followed by the message LED 0. Now I will send another message LED 1. As you can see, this has created a unsolicited message type of uh, communication here between SIM 900 and the uh, publisher. So uh, your SIM 900 uh, can be a publisher as well as a subscriber. Now we have uh, subscribe to the topic Valetron. Okay. Now, if you don't send anything for uh, some time, the TCP connection will be closed by the broker. So you need to keep sending the data. Otherwise, you can also send the ping packets instead of sending the data if you don't have anything to send. Uh, now we need to create a TCP connection again. We will do this by using the command Now we will send the connect packet AT plus CIP send then you will get this greater than symbol then you need to send the connect packet remember that this data is in binary it's not in ascii you should enter the 1a character at the end so that the message is sent now you can send the publish packet okay the message is sent now we will try to subscribe to the topic well it run again send the subscribe topic okay now I will publish a message from here so the published message is arriving properly so this creates a a very good unsolicited uh, message type of communication like an SMS so you can uh, communicate your SIM 900 module in real time okay and you, are, you can also see that the message will be arriving on the cloud MKTT control panel also see so it's arriving here okay this is as simple as this so uh, you can uh, program your microcontroller to read this commands whatever is incoming from the sim 900 module and uh, program it to take any action you want so this is basic example on how we can create a tcp connection and send mqtt packets on it uh, to a cloud mqtt broker now I will show you one more method. This is one method where, you, where we use the AT plus CIP send command continuously to send any control packets we want. Instead of this, uh, we can also use the transparent mode of the TCP connection available on the SIM 900 module and uh, test it out. This will help us in uh, uh, avoiding the command AT plus CIP send every time. So I will just close this. Now the connection is also closed there. 
now what I will do is I will uh, close the CIIP I will shut down the TCP connection profile and now I will create this transparent mode using the command ET plus CIP mode is equal to 1 this will create a uh, or enable the transparent mode of the TCP connection on sim united module now I will set the APN again ET plus CSTT is equal to www comma username password and enable the sorry press C I I C R enable the internet check the IP address and after this you need to establish the connection again okay instead of connect okay you will get uh, here earlier you got uh, connect okay now you will only get connect because we are in transparent mode now whatever you send here it will go in into the if I delay it again it will close the connection so I will send here instead of don't send one A here just send the binary data okay connect is sent we will publish the message send see the message arrived here and here also on the cloud mqtt control panel now we will send the subscribe don't send one a here again so whatever you send it will be directly uh, you know sent to the mqtt broker now let us test the publish message see the message has arrived on sim 900 module Now I will send a message from here again. Send. Send again. So everything looks like it's working perfectly. This is how you use your uh, SIM mandated module in transparent mode to you know establish a continuous connection between your MQTT broker and your yeah, module so using the transparent mode you can easily have a real-time connection between your server or your publisher so if you are supposed to receive any real-time messages or commands then this might be the way to go instead of the uh, SMS because SMS is also delivered by the network but uh, uh, MQTT or TCP on SIM and module uh, works perfectly and it is uh, and it is able to deliver the messages in re almost real time. There is a little delay because of the 2G network connection but uh, looks like uh, the message is coming quite fast. It's just a matter of second until it reaches the broker and it's uh, uh, resent to the subscribers. So here what I'm doing is I'm sending the message, I'm publishing the message and I'm also the subscriber because I have sent the subscribe command. So uh, the message is sent to other subscribers and it's also delivered to me because it's also the subscriber. Me in the sense the SIM 900 module. So that's how you do it. To understand this video properly you have to watch the earlier video otherwise it's very difficult to understand what I am sending here. These packets and all are formed uh, in my previous video uh, using the excel sheet I had provided. So if you want the excel sheet again you can uh, drop me a mail at ravi at the rate valetron.com and if you like this video hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more such content. Thank you for watching.